Hello and welcome to Solve for the solution to my uh, puzzle about um, gels and keys and locks and everything. Let's take for example number six, uh, the gel number six, and um, we'll see that um, guard number one turned the key, guard number two turned the key, guards number four and five didn't turn the key because uh, six is not a multiple of four or five. Uh, I forgot guard number three, of course, that turned the key, and uh, guard number six also turned the key, which makes four, four guards and uh, one closed, open, closed, open. So the, this gel is uh, the cell is open. Question is, um, what is the condition for the cell to be open? Well, you need to have an um, an even number of guards to uh, touch the, the the key and to, to turn the key. And why do we have an even number? Because 6 has an even number of divisors. So the question is uh, which numbers between 1 to 500 have an odd number of divisors? The answer is very simple. All those numbers are perfect squares. So let's, um, let's take for instance 9 which, which is uh, 3 squared. and um, the divisors of 9 are 1, 3, and 9. Because it's a perfect square, 1 by 9 makes 9, and 3 by 3, so it's used twice, that's why we have a odd number, it makes 9. So, only squares and perfect squares work. Which, as a consequence, uh, is to wonder how many perfect squares do we have between 1 to 500. Well, we if we take the root square root of 500, we take we get uh, 22 and something, which means that 22 squared is uh, smaller than 500, and which means also that we have 22 numbers that are um, between 1 and 500, and those 22 have an even number, an even um, number of uh, divisors, which means that um, the cells will be locked at the end of the night. So the last uh, thing we know, we have to know, is just to make a subtraction to know that uh, we have 480 and 78 uh, cells that will be open at the end of the night, and 478 prisoners will be es able to escape without any problem. I hope you enjoyed this problem, and uh, see you next time for next problem. Bye bye.